Hey guys, Ethan here. I uh, just thought I'd make a uh, quick video, a short one, um, about uh, Meadow's controls. Um, I noticed on the uh, Meadow Discord that there was a player that commented about not knowing a, a feature in the controls with the auto run and walk. Um, so I thought I would cover that in this, in this video, and also with some other things as well. Um, this would be like a Meadow's uh, tips and tricks kind of video. Um, I'll be covering the eagle, the pheasant, uh, the goat, and then some, some options as well that you might not be aware of. And uh, this should help with understanding Meadow more with its controls, uh, and also with uh, traversing the world of Meadow as well. So we're going to get into it. Uh, controls. So, um, like I spoke about before, auto forward and auto run. Um, auto forward is the F key, and um, with that, uh, you actually just walk forward. If you hit the R key, your animal will actually run, so you can auto run. So it saves you having to hold down uh, any of the keys while holding shift. It actually take care, takes, takes care of that for you, and um, helps uh, take some of the uh, fatigue off when you're having to travel long distances to get to a destination or to a group. Um, with the controls, there's also uh, gameplay. Gameplay, we'll start with this one here, block names. Um, this is if you want to play um, anonymously. Um, if you activate this, uh, your name will not show up when if someone does peak names with the one of the alt keys when they hit that. Um, they will not display your Steam name, it will just show up as a dot. However, you will not be able to see anyone anyone's name on your uh, client side either. Um, so just bear that in mind if you want to, to try and use that feature. I leave it off. There's also this right here, get mud from others. I'll talk about that a bit further in this video. Of course, there'll be timestamps. Um, but uh, basically, you can get mud on your animal um, in the world of a meadow, and uh, you can get others muddy as well. But um, when you get mud on yourself, when you use the sense thing that shows um, tracks that players leave behind. Actually, no, no, sorry. Uh, if you use the, 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 the map where it shows um, I mean, what, what players are near you, uh, I believe, yes, you will show up um, as uh, um, just invisible. You won't, you won't be able to be detected. Um, and that's uh, kind of like if you want to be left alone or something like that. Um, I leave that off because I like people to know where I am and be able to see me. On the person's uh, client side, if they try to get mud on you, a, um, a sound will play, uh, a strange sound, uh, signaling that the person has that activated. And some players don't like that, but I mean, that's everyone plays the way they want to. Alright, so, we have the eagle. Now, there are some things to understand with the eagle. First off, in the world of Meadow, the eagle does not fly going forward. Well, normally it flies that way, but to get going faster, you have to go down like that. So basically in this game you'll be going up and down to fly faster. Um, there is a trick with the eagle. Uh, I call it um, like a speed boost. I haven't really seen like any official uh, terms for this, even from the meadow community. Everyone's probably had their own thing like, you know, warp speed eagle or something like that. Basically, um, first off the controls the eagle. You got E, which makes you go down, and you got Q, where you actually go up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a speed boost where I hit the E key and quickly hit the, the, the Q key, and you're going to see what happens. See how fast I'm going up there? Super fast. Now if you don't do it right though, you go up that fast. I'll show it again. See, you go up really fast. There's also with uh, when you're going down as well. You notice 
sometimes you might actually go be, be descending slower. You might have to correct that by hitting the E key again. Um, so if you think you're actually not descending quick enough, you might be right. You might be not descending quick enough. See? See how it changes like that? Um, I believe that might be it for the eagle. Like I said, that this this trick allows you to get to a destination pretty quickly um, as the eagle. All right, so this is a pheasant. It is the uh, the sixth animal, I believe, that you unlock. You actually have to uh, collect, oh, unlock a couple of animals before you get to this one. Um, I guess that has to do with having the ability to actually fly. Um, so, there's some things to understand with the controls of the pheasant. First off, um, if you are encountered a situation where you have a hill here, and it's very, um, very high, you can try to fly forward, and I believe if you get f further, far enough back, you can get up there. Yeah, you can. Now, if I want to get up here, I can still do that. But there are some situations where the hill will be very steep, and you'll be stuck doing this. See, I can't even jump right now. If you go, if you if you uh, sway left, left and right, though, you can get up it like that. Um, but there are some times where you have to um, do like a. Uh, a, a normal walk. Am I still walking? Yes, I am. Uh, a, a normal walk and a jump, which actually gives you a higher jump versus just a straightforward uh, run jump. So you actually go like this. I can, if, um, let's see if I can maybe find a, a hill to um, demonstrate this a bit better. Yeah, here we go. We'll do it right here. So. It's very it can, the pheasant can be difficult to, to navigate with whenever you're dealing with hills. How I'm but see how I'm doing that is I'm actually um, there we go. Uh, I'm actually just walking and jumping as well. However, if I held the shift key, I can do that, and it just it changes with uh, with with whatever um, obstacle is in your way. Uh, there's also where you can fly with the uh, pheasant, uh, and you can get the pheasant to fly for a longer period of time and do its fly animation. Uh, if you're wanting to quickly get around like a mountain or something like that, I'll show you. Kind of like hug the side side of the the uh, the mountain while you're flying, and you actually will get it to where it was. Uh, keep the flying animation going. And you'll be able to get around things a lot quicker that way. Um, there is also, if you're trying to travel somewhere at long distance, um, if you press the R key or the auto run and uh, going forward, you can actually do a thing where you get a extra jump. There it is right there. I believe you can do that three times before the fall animation kicks in and your pheasant will fall will fall to the ground as if it fell, fell from a very high height. Um, but this actually gives you a, a speed boost as well. Yeah, me me Meadow Video Speed Boost Edition. And, uh... <laughs> trying to do it again. Right here we hit the space bar. There it is right there. You have to get it, like, almost perfectly in frame when you're trying to do that. Um, but that helps you actually you fly a bit further and also get to a destination a lot quicker. There's also a, a jump boost with the pheasant. If you're running forward like this and you go to fly, that's as high as you get. However, if you're trying to get across a lake or something like that and you don't think you're going to make it, you can walk, jump, and then fly again by holding the shift key and pressing spacebar. And you can get your uh, jump boost that way. Uh, 
So yeah, that is the uh, tips and tricks with the pheasant. Once again, you've got, um, when you're going up mountains, you can go left and right quickly to get up things uh, faster. And uh, that can work with, uh, with all animals, basically. I believe even the badger cub. Uh, it's very difficult the badger cub, but um, you can if, if the left and right doesn't work, you can try jumping in place and uh, walking going forward as well. Play around with those and understand them and uh, impress people with your meta skills. So that is a pheasant. All right, so we got the goat here. Um, there are some things to understand with the goat. First off. I need to find... Okay, so, with the goat, um, there are some different uh, jump heights with the goat. Like with the pheasant, when you hold shift, the goat has more uh, going forward than it has going up. But, if uh, you were to do just a walk animation, just like the pheasant, you actually get a higher jump from that. get up uh, things that way. Whereas if you just held shift down, yeah, that, that, work, that works too. But uh, with this hill right here, I can get up it going left and right, like that. Just like with the pheasant. Um, or, I believe I can do it this way. So you got that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to show you a little bit with uh, best ways to traverse with the uh, with the goat to get up things. You might look kind of weird, but it, it's just the way the goat works. Uh, what else is there? Showed that. There's also some things with the with the uh, with the player models. Most of the player models that you can do, um, you can actually kind of like go to the side here. Look, I'm a reindeer. <laughs> uh, you can do that as well. Hover goat. So. There's also um, a trick here that you can do to be silly, if you so choose. Um, if you hold A and S down, basically where your animal is doing this, and you hit the space bar, see how it's acting weird there? There we go. So right now I'm upside down in the uh, ground. I believe I can go forward as I can. This is something for you, you can mess with on your own. Um, I've seen some players where they're able to actually walk around the world like this. And uh, if you wanted to get back out of that, you just hit the space bar and you'll jump back up to Earth. Alright, so this is the mud I was talking about. Um, like I said, you can get this, get the mud onto other players. Um, let's have it turned off in the options. Um, but if you don't want to be discovered for roleplay purposes or just um, whenever you're wanting to be uh, undiscoverable on your um, adventures, you can just walk in here and get yourself money that way. If you want to take the mud off, you can use this. I believe everyone, everyone gets this uh, emote. Wash yourself off rain cloud, or you can just jump in the water. I'll show you this as well. If you go to character options, uh, other players, this will show you players' names. If there's a player you don't like and you don't want to see them anymore, you can uh, click their name and there's an option to block them. Uh, what happens is, on your client side, the player and everything um, on their on on their model and stuff like that will be uh, invisible. You will not see them at all. 
Uh, they could collect flowers around you or, uh, you know, do silly things. Um, people might, might, might be able to see them, but you won't. Um, and, uh, I believe it stays on even after you get off the server. So if you ever see that player again, their name will, uh, in, in big, uh, bold letters will show blocked, uh, next to it. And I believe there might be some other options as well, but that's something you can explore on your own. Um, so once again, that's in, uh, character options. Other players, and it shows names down there. It also will show the distance and how far these players are away from you. So you got that. Um, I believe that's it. As far as with the meadow tips and tricks, I want to be just a quick video. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.